Hello, I'm Georgie Barrett and this is your Week in Tech. This week we're filming from JLab in John Lewis to find out more about their accelerator programme. John, what's JLab all about? So JLab is a technology accelerator, it lasts for 12 weeks and ultimately it's a way for us to explore new ways to revolutionise how customers engage with the brand. We have five companies, um, a mixture of physical products and solutions that we could use in store. We have a pitch day where the five companies pitch their final solutions and at the end of that there's an opportunity for one of the teams to actually win a uh, 100k investment. Crowdcube has raised $9.4 million from lead investor Numis. They're planning to engage retailers in the IPO market, expand the team and further develop the product. Nimba has closed their $850,000 deal, taking their total raise to $1.25 million. Nimba's EasyBring service makes the most of people's existing journeys to make deliveries. Liverpool-based Living Lens has raised £1 million in Series A funding. The startup uses capture and data mining technology to provide valuable information for brands and agencies. Highways England are planning to test electric motorways, which will allow electric-powered vehicles to charge as they go. It could mean that electric vehicles will go much further in one trip. How does it work though? Well, electric cables buried under the road are used to generate electromagnetic fields, which are picked up by a coil inside the device and converted into electricity. It's already been tested in South Korea and the off-road trials in England are planned in 2016 or 2017. It's early days yet, but they're already committed to installing charging points along motorways. So the future of electric cars could be closer than you think. Now, Google announced some big changes this week. They're restructuring the company with Google now forming part of Alphabet. Alphabet will become the parent company for all the different avenues of Google's business. Google will stay as one arm of the company, comprising of Search, YouTube, Android and Maps, while Google X, Google Ventures and Nest will all be run separately. They're also announcing that rising star Sundar Pichai will become the new CEO of Alphabet. It's the enormous success of Google's search engine that has allowed the founders to take risks on projects like self-driving cars and artificial intelligence. It's thought that the restructuring will give a clearer picture of Google's, sorry, Alphabet's business to investors. Our download of the week is Tripper and Alec dropped into the studio to tell us a little bit more. Tripper is a social travel app that connects people going to the same place. So if you've got any upcoming trips, simply add where you're going, when you're going, and find out who'll be there when you're there. And finally, is it time to say goodbye to LOL? A Facebook study has found that people prefer to use emojis and ha ha instead of LOL. It started in the 1980s and entered the OED in 2011, but it's unlikely to become extinct anytime soon. Don't worry, Mum and Dad will still let you use it for lots of love. This has been your week in tech. For more news, make sure you check out our website and follow us on Twitter.